just like to show you guys quickly this is the view I get every day walking to work yep that's the water it's so pretty Good morning guys, it is 4.30am on 4th of June, Thursday, um, this is me, no makeup, no glasses, no done hair, uh, my husband Patch has decided that I can tell you a bit about it, which is great, and you might actually get to see him. A little bit. The reason I mentioned this now is because, excuse me, he's actually leaving today to go on a work thing. He works offshore, he works away. And um, he stays always really, really hard for me when he goes. I might have to fall off my diet. Um, for the past two weeks while he's been here, while I've been recording, uh, while I've been training, he's been here to support me. And, you know, give me little hints and tips about what I would do. So, excuse me, just gonna move you. I do apologise about being sleepy. But I woke up and... I just felt that I needed to vlog. The fact that when he does go, I do find things very, very difficult because I still don't know many people like Aberdeen. I have got like my work colleagues, which is great and they're amazing. Um, I will be doing a lot more vlogging while he's away, obviously, because it's just a way that I can get my feelings up. So don't be surprised if, like, over the next couple of little videos. I see him a bit down, but he has left me a challenge, which is going to be really cool. I'm really, really bad at hitting my calories and hitting my macros. Um, I tend to always have like quite a lot left over, which isn't always a bad thing, but it's not always a good thing either. I mean, I'm very good at hitting my fats quite quickly. You know, such a low fat. Oh, I'm so sorry. God, I look awful. But this is me, look, on natural. Um, yeah, he's given me a challenge to try and get within 100 calories of my daily amount. And so that's going to start today. So that should be quite exciting. Today is a rest day, so it gives me time I can sit and plan everything out. Try and work out what I'm going to do with food and stuff. Um, and I do have work this evening, which is fab. So I can go and see my work colleagues and they'll keep me cheered up. But yeah, I just wanted to just give you a quick update of how I'm feeling. I'm going to try really, really hard not to fall off the diet because I do tend to fall off my diet a little bit when he's not here. I'm just going to go a little bit nuts and comfort eat because I find food comforting. <laughs> Who doesn't? Um, yeah. How he's going? Sad times. Hey guys, Fit Kitty Kitsu back in the kitchen. Today I am cooking a chicken, bacon and mushroom with courgette pasta. It's going to be really tasty. I had it yesterday. I didn't film it yesterday because I was so hungry. So I'm going to film it today, show you what it is. It's really, really good for you. Really, really tasty. But let's start with, let me show you what I'm going to use. Right, so I have got 161 grams of chicken breast. I have got my garlic and herb filling, which I'm going to use about 30 grams of that. I will be using two rashes of the smoked bacon. I'll be using the rest of these sliced tomato uh, mushrooms. They're not tomatoes, they're a bit of a funny colour. Oops! And then I will also be using the rest of this pre-made courgette spaghetti. It's really tasty, slightly addicted to it. In fact, I can't get enough of it. 
Right, I'm just going to pop you back up there so you can see. Right, well, first things first, I'm going to get the meat topped up, get this hob on the go, and I will show you what it looks like when it starts to get cooking. It's going to be tasty. Okay, guys, that pan is on, and I've just given it a quick spray with my fire light. I've chosen not to use my garlic one today because there is garlic in the Philadelphia. So now I am just going to add my chicken and make sure that that gets browned off really, really well. In a way, I have washed my hands. Okay. Chicken in. Okay, so that's the chicken browned quite nicely. Here it is in. So next up, I'm going to add my bacon. Now this is for one, so if you're thinking, oh, there's not a lot there, it is literally just for me. I do cook for myself quite a lot. Uh, the only time me and Patch eat together is when I've got a night off or when we go out for dinner. But it's fine. So, right, the bacon is now in. I like to separate my bacon because I don't like it all in big one chunks. Really missed a bit, that would be tough for this. So, I get that fried off. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll get the mushrooms in. Okay, so that's looking all lovely, steamy. Next, I'm going to add my three sliced mushrooms with parsley. And I already know how much is in here because I used half of it yesterday, so I'm just going to use the other half today. Give that a good stir. And I love mushrooms, so I mean, obviously, you can change the veg, you don't have to have any veg. You could do it with peppers and onions. Um, you could do it with normal pasta, but obviously then your carbs are going to be a lot, lot higher. These mushrooms are actually a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Look at the size of them! They're so big! Give that a good stir and get those mushrooms cooked through. Okay, next I'm going to add in my 100 grams of courgette spaghetti. I have already weighed it out and I've got some extra left. So I will use that in something else. It's not enough to do a whole recipe on its own. But I'm sure if I combine it with maybe some normal pasta or use it in a stir fry, it will be lovely. So that's in there. I'm going to give that a few minutes and then I'm going to stir through the sauce. Now I've decided to go for the 40 grams. Now I've had to weigh it out into here because my scales don't have a minus function. And I could really do with getting a scale with a minus function just because it makes life so much easier. So that is my 40 grams of my garlic and herb filly and that will be going in in a few minutes. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that in, melt the cheese down. It smells amazing. I love this. It's like super quick, super tasty. And because I'm using Philly, it actually gets quite creamy. I've turned the heat down a little bit just because I don't want to overcook the courgette spaghetti lovely right well that's it in the pan i know it doesn't really look like much but i will plate it up and i'm going to enjoy this while i watch some youtube i'll show you what it looks like and i will put the macros on the top of the screen for you Okay, so there it is, the finished product, all ready to go 
for me to sit and enjoy. So I am now going to go and eat that, probably watch a bit of YouTube and chill out for a little bit and then get ready for my work. I uh, have packed a lunch for work today so I will show you what I'm taking. Okay right then guys, that is me. I've pretty much devoured that meal in like seconds because I was super super hungry so I'm just going to sit with a nice mug of coffee and to end it I've got a cherry Weight Watchers yogurt which are really tasty, the macros on them are amazing. And I'm actually sat watching YouTube, watching a lady who inspired me to get fit and learn about my macros. It is Miss Lainey Bobster, which I will just spin my camera around so you can see. See, I get quite a lot of my meal ideas from her and she's absolutely amazing. I will link her channel. Her and Lex are my biggest, really biggest inspiration. Um, among the other people. There she is, isn't she pretty? Um, that'll be Lex. So yeah, I'm gonna sit and watch this video and then I shall be eating again in about an hour and a half because I'm still 400 calories short even though I have planned what I'm gonna be having. For, sorry, you can hear the TV in the background now. I have already um, planned out what I'm going to have for the rest of the day. Let me just mute. And I am 400 calories short, so I will have to look at getting some extra bits in. But for now, that's me signing off. I'm going to eat my yogurt, drink my coffee, and watch a bit of the Boom Baby. See you in a bit. Right, so guys, I got so hungry on my work lunch break that I forgot to vlog what I was eating for me. Did it tonight, so I had one tiny little bit of gram turn of the Weight Watchers Correlation Chicken. Really, really tasty. I had a packet of good encountered sweet chili flavoured popcorn. I can get those in Asda. And I'm gonna have a Weight Watchers caramel cake bar. And just to bump up my protein, I've got a packet of beef jerky. And I also got this, which is the Weight Watchers. Brazilian orange, mango and watermelon with fresh in juice. And this is actually really, really tasty. So, like I said, sorry that I didn't vlog it before I started eating it, but I only got like a 15 minute break and I was super hungry because I haven't actually eaten since one o'clock. The time is now 25 past eight, so I'm gonna finish up my little snack, get back to work, might do a little vlog on the way home. I don't know yet, haven't decided. Um, might do one when I get in, let you know how I'm coping, how I'm feeling after how you've been away, going away today, and how my night's been so far. So right now I'm going to finish my lunch and then get back out there and crack on with my shift. Bye. Hey guys, well that's me home from work. Um, literally just as I walked in the door, I fired up the computer and posted. Um, the latest vlog, so you would have seen that by now, hopefully. Uh, that would be the bagels and bitching sort of style thing. Sorry about that flash, that was just my computer screen going into a screen save. Oh, terribly sorry, I'm really, really tired. Really, really tired. Um, I'm going to get some food and then I'm quite possibly going to get a bath. I might just grab a quick shower because I'm looking a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a periscope chat tonight, although it is now 10 to 11 at night and I am working again tomorrow, so I might just get food and get some rest really. Um, I'm training tomorrow, thankfully I've not had too much time to think about the fact that Hubs isn't here, um, because I do, I really really miss him when he's away. Really, really miss him. It's difficult. I'm kind of used to it though, because he's been doing it like, well, he's been going away ever since we met, really. And we've been together over 10 years. Well, we've been together 10 years actually. Uh, been married 10 years next year. Woohoo! So you think I'd be used to him going away right now, but like the first night's always really, really hard. So, sorry, I really do. I look, look very, very sleepy. Very sleepy. So right now, I am going to love you and leave you. 
Like I said, thinking about doing a periscope, but probably not. Probably just gonna go crash out. Working tomorrow, but I have the weekend off. So I'm probably going to vlog a lot of the weekend, although I'm not doing much. Work out day tomorrow, so I'll vlog that for you. But right now, guys, remember to live it, love it, dream it, and you'll achieve it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more. And drop me a comment if there's anything you'd like to ask me or if you'd like to see in particular. Night, guys. Bye.